Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to Back Office. We all love our camera phones or our smartphones with cameras. We record all our videos, all our pictures, and we tweet them and we Facebook them and we put them on social media because we just cannot get enough of that stuff. But the problem is these little Diddy cameras really are no match for even the cheapest real camera. So why don't we use real cameras anymore? And the reason we don't use real cameras, and I of course mean real digital cameras, is because they are a pain in the rear to integrate these with all of those lovely apps that you've got on your phone. Okay, I do know that there are some phones with decent cameras and bigger cameras, but you know, you cannot get the range uh, of quality and zoom lenses and all that stuff that you get with these. So what's the solution for someone who wants to use one of these for taking photos and video who still wants to tweet them? Well, funny you ask, because I have a solution here. This is the Easy Share, and it is by uh, a company, I guess, called EZ Share, because I cannot find any more information about it. It's a Wi-Fi micro SD adapter. So here's your micro SD card. And here's the adapter and I'm going to flip the box over just to show you what you do with it. You actually just pop it in your phone as if you were using it like a regular adapter. Pop in your SD card, pop that in your, so I said phone didn't I, in your camera and what will happen when you power it on this thing will have a Wi-Fi access point and it will look at what's on that card and then let you download it either through a web browser or using the Easy Share app that you can download for free. So I've got the camera here, let's try this. I'm going to pop in the card, whichever way around it goes, that way. And I'm going to pop it on here and you can see the screen if we can get it reflection free and there you go you can see its screen and it's looking at a few objects. I've got it in photo mode at the moment and I've got it set to take a few frames so I don't know how many it's going to take but let's just go for it. Loads of frames you heard it like a machine gun look at the frame counter here. That was a lot of pictures. Now I'm going to also pop it while I'm here into some video this sort of movie mode and you can see here the little red lights flashing and I'm going to go hello fingers of doom knock that off try knocking it off again try knocking it off a third time it doesn't want to go off in fact has my camera crashed mm. No, it did knock off eventually. That was weird. I'm wondering if there's some sort of strange delayed write going on. Might be something to watch out for there. Be a bit careful. So I'm going to leave it on. I'm going to just shut the, the door. Let's get my phone. And I'll bring the instructions here again. You can have a look. This camera actually incidentally already does have Wi-Fi built in. So uh, I don't uh, think if you've got a use case for this one. However, if this app happens to be easier, so I'm going to look in the Wi-Fi list and see if EasyShare is going to pop up there. Waiting. Oh, EasyShare. It connected to it. And because I, I, I sort of, oh, there we go. I'd already hit that before and I'd put in the Wi-Fi password. The Wi-Fi password happens to be 8 eights. Not joking. Look here. You can see it right here. 8 eights. That may be changeable, maybe not. I don't know. And then on my desktop, you see this share application, which I previously installed. And look, there's a photo I was messing with earlier. So if I click on card album, we'll go right back, back into time. Those are all the photos it took. Remember, it took a whole bunch of them. One was actually a video. Let's see if we can find that video in a moment. But if I click there, you can see the photo. I've got the option to download it, share it right away. So if I want to, technically, I could probably tweet it. Maybe not from this app, though. Look, this thing's already got its own thing. Oh, of course. You might just want to download it because you can't tweet it, can you? Unless you're on the internet. And I'm not on the internet because I'm on the Wi-Fi of this card. Hmm. Be careful with that. Let's exit this. But yeah, we can download that for later. That should already download. It says it already exists. Already downloaded it. Fine. Let's go back. Let's see if we can find video. Yes, we can. There's video here. Sorry. Just off the screen. There's one, two, four, panna. Here we go. Video. Click play. 
not really seeing anything going on don't know if it's doing anything maybe you it says it can't play it so let's try to download it instead add it to download queue there we go you can actually see it downloading it's not particularly fast you might have noticed the time has moved on a little bit but the progress bar is still slowly working its way across that's because it actually kind of crashed it didn't crash technically what happened was the power um, timeout on the, the camera actually activated and it dropped the Wi-Fi so it had an error here so I've had to sort of restart the process it's really not particularly speedy so if you actually have a high-def camera and you've got a file that could be many gigabytes long you're probably in for a long wait if you're going to rely on this method to transfer it i'm going to be honest with you this review of this card has been an kind of a nightmare for me i've recorded this video several times and i'm just going to bang on through and wrap this up because there's no simple way of doing it the video on the card actually worked really well you saw it could download to the phone albeit a bit slowly but the only way to look at it was via vlc and if i click vlc it does appear to have some corruption in the video itself. You can see these lines by my finger. If you see the sort of a flickering horizontal line going on. Um, and I don't know what that is because it's not present on the actual recording here. If I look at the information on this recording, it all appears to have the right stuff going on. Even the preview picture is pretty good. So I don't know if it's a VLC issue or just limited to my phone. So the next test for me would be to upload this to a PC or Google or Gmail and then watch it there. But frankly, I've had enough. I think though, to be fair to this card, which I think was about five pounds, it pretty much did do what it said on the tin. I'd have to check about again, the video, but uh, it may well be something down to an incompatibility with the sort of bit rates I'm producing. Remember this is a pretty professional camera producing relatively high bit rates sort of and uh, you know these, this sort of card and this reader you know there's all these sort of compatibility potential compatibility issues going on because I've noticed this is a class 4 micro SD card and I really don't know what I normally use in this. I suspect it's a 10 um, but the video looks fine on the PC so who knows it doesn't really matter. If you've got a camera and you just want to use it for photos and then sending good quality photos to Twitter, I think you can really not go far wrong buying one of these. Just make sure you watch out for the 32 gigabyte limit. It does actually say here it needs a 32 gigabyte class 10 and this is a 16 gigabyte class 4. So really this probably isn't enough for the video. And maybe that's another reason why the upload was so slow. Although I think the difference between a class six, um, class four, and a class ten, though, in terms of the read speed, is probably negligible. It's more down to write. So there you have it, the Easy Share card. Have a look on eBay or Amazon on your favourite place. I'm not going to put any links because uh, they're always out of date by the time you click on them. By L Zeal. As ever, thanks for watching.